Hey guys, okay, so um, I just got out of the shower and I don't know, I just felt like today, like, um, today I'm going to do actually really tiny twists in my head. And so today simply when I got in the shower, uh, first of all I did deep treatment with my Shea Moisture Hair um, Mask. And then I just simply used um, Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. I'll go ahead and say this right now, just get it out of the way, and then I'll go on to my thoughts. Um, this is a really good conditioner. Um, I know a lot of people also like the Nourish Spa uh, for dry hair. And normally that's exactly what I would go for. You know, things I know that are really, you know, for dry hair damage. You know, things like that, that basically means, you know, it's got extra conditioning properties in it. And I usually go for things like that. However, it had methylparaben in it. So I stayed with the um, tea, tringle condi tea tree tingle conditioner, okay? So it was like, it was under $4. Um, so this would definitely, if you're on a budget <clears throat> for all the naturals, this would be a great co-wash because it's, it's, it's cheap and it's got like good stuff in it. Um, we've got tea tree oil, eucalyptus oil, nettle oil, thyme oil, birch leaf, chamomile oil, um, clary, yarrow oil, malo, horsetail oil, soybean protein, acetyl alcohol, tocopherol, trace mineral citric acid, sodium hydroxymethylglycinate, grape, grapefruit seed um, that's organic. Um, so as you see, like I pretty much just read all the ingredients in the order they were in. Oh, and there's peppermint. That's the third ingredient in the list. But I pretty much read the ingredients, you know, as they were. And um, so this this condition has a lot of great um softening conditioning moisturizing properties to it for the simple fact that it just has the oils itself not extracts of anything however you would think it would be a wimpy shampoo because of the consistency but it's not so i definitely would recommend um getting this i know this will probably become a staple because i actually got the shea moisture um black um African um, soap or whatever it was sham um, conditioner guys it was an awesome conditioner but that smell was awful I couldn't take it it smelled like lead pencil so essentially what I ended up doing was just I mean I'm just going to give it away um, because I just can't take that smell I, and it's such a shame because like I said it's a really good conditioner with no proteins in it whatsoever and this one actually has some protein in it but I take it because it's towards the end of the list but you know that's it's a shame that the smell just turned me off so much that I couldn't even deal with it anymore. But anyway, so tea tringle, tea tree tingle conditioner, get you some. Now, I also did this because I definitely, I want you guys to see my hair with uh, basically no curl goal oriented products in it. Um, <clears throat> I know that sometimes, I've, I've said it before and I just want to show you today, you know, that my hair is going to curl no matter what happens. As soon as water hits it, it returns back to its curly state. Um, and, I mean, I know the lighting gets messed up when I move forward. But as you can see, you know, seriously, guys, all I did was co-wash my hair with this. That's it. So, um, I definitely just want you guys to see this. Um, my hair naked, as I would say. But, um, and right now, because I use a Shea Moisture Mask, and then I followed up with this, right now my hair feels really, really soft. But what I'm going to do today, like I said, is do small twists in my hair um, so that um, I can just kind of leave my hair alone for a while till I go on vacation or whatever. And I've still got drippies coming down, so whatever. Anyway, so then the other thing, I just wanted to do some updates real quick. Um... I was actually supposed to do uh, the uh, Curly Magic review, but it's that I did Joe's, Trader Joe's Tea Tringle Conditioner. And also, um, side note, sidebar, part my hair in four sections and massage up underneath my hair, palms of, you know, the pads of my fingers, each of the four sections. Then I just rinsed it out when I was done. That's the end. Okay, so that's how I, I applied it. Um, of course, shrinkage is going to happen. Um, but like I said, it leaves my hair feeling really soft and moisturized. So get you some. But curl magic, curly magic, Uncle Funky Daughter's curly magic will be coming forth soon. Um, so like I said, I am going on vacation this week. I'm going to Miami, Florida. That's where I was born. That's where half of one half of my family lives. I still consider myself a Georgian, Georgian because I've been here like pretty much all my life. Um, I'm bringing my laptop with me. Um, 
maybe do some videos. I may start working on my book abstracts. Um, I got created like me and all that good stuff. So I definitely will probably be working on those and post them when I get back if I can't get a wireless connection anywhere. Um, let you know how my hair does with swimming because I definitely tend to hit some water and I'll give you guys the routine I did for that. Um, and then as for the upcoming reviews and then I'm just going to bring it to a close. Um, Allocate Naturals is forthcoming. So far all I have to say about this product line is good stuff but I will definitely do a more in-depth review um, when I have time. Um, I did attempt to dye my hair um, and I just just discovered you know it's just not going to happen for me. I'm probably going to have to use some type of cuticle opener to get the, the color into my strands. I tried cinnamon, that didn't work. I tried the Surya Henna Brazil Cream Chocolate Color, that didn't work. Not even in light. So it's basically like I have to get my cuticles raised in order to get the, the, the chemicals to take. Because yeah, now you guys can't see it through the computer screen, but my hair is really black. It's like jet black. And I just wanted some new color in my hair. And I would really love not to have to put any of that those harsh ingredients in my hair. But I'm kind of feeling backed into a corner. But if you, any of you guys have any other alternatives, just let me know. Um, then I did, like I said, book reviews. Uh, I'll also, well, before I get to the book reviews, and I also want to do, uh, I want to try out Terry LaFleche's method. She's from TightlyCurly.com and she lately came out. She recently came out with a book that I did buy. Um, so I want to try her method, see what that does. I mean, because basically what she's saying is that by using her method, you basically have to do your hair once a week and your curls to keep. And, you know, I guess I want to deal with all the fuzziness. So I definitely want to try that out and see if her claims are true. And then, of course, I have not forgot about my Blended Beauty Curly Frizz Pudding. I'm getting on that as soon as I get home. I promise you guys will have the end of the Blended Beauty series. Um, and like I said, I will be doing some book abstracts soon. Um, I got Curly Like Me, finished reading it, very insightful, some things to think about, um, thank God I'm natural, um, I'll definitely do a book review on that, and then Grow It, which is kind of being a disappointing read at this point, I kind of feel like I'm about to sell it back on Amazon, but I will still review it anyway, so I just wanted to give you guys an update, like I said, so you guys can see my hair and, and see what I mean when I say, you know, no matter what happens, my hair is going to curl, you know, do whatever it wants to do with it, it stays that way. Now, whether I decide to keep it that way is another uh, issue in itself or the deciding on the products I use that will help reduce the frizz so I can kind of keep my curly look um, is very different. So I'm just going to go ahead and go, go ahead and start um, working on my hair because like I said, this is going to take a very, very long time. So I definitely will um, talk to you guys later. I may even let you guys see the results. So bye.